Hi, I'm Taisha, and this is my friend Caitlin. We're from BU Softball, and we're going to talk to you today about slap hitting. Slap hitting normally occurs on the left side of the box, and you normally utilize it when you have above average speed to get ahead on the defense. Today, I will demonstrate how to do soft slapping, which is normally utilized when the defense is playing back or out of position to get ahead to get to first. For soft slapping, I normally start with my hands choked up just to have better back control. And then I normally will start slapping through the box with a crossover step here with my foot pointed towards third base to get full coverage of the plate here. And then I normally hit and then take off to first. The next form of slapping I will demonstrate is the chop slap. The chop slap normally gives you enough time to get out of the box and get to first base. All right, so now we're gonna talk about the power slap, um, which is another tool in the slapper's toolbox. Um, oftentimes this is used um, in order to fool the defense again when either the infielders are playing you too close or the outfielders are playing you too close. And so the whole goal is to hopefully hit the ball past the fielders into the gaps where you can look for extra bases. So the mechanics of a hard slap is a little bit different than the soft slap. Your footwork and your motion is a little bit more slow and controlled so that you can obtain a little bit more of that power that we were talking about. Um, so again, very similar to the soft slap, you're gonna start. I don't start with a choked up stance because I like to keep my bat able to whip through the zone more. Um, but again, just stand in your normal batting stance so the defense doesn't know that you're slapping. You get a little bit of that element of surprise. Um, as the pitch comes in, again, you move back, go with that crossover step. And as that front foot is hitting, that's when your barrel comes through the zone and make contact. 